San Diego County District Attorney's Office is speaking out about new resentencing laws in California, saying tonight the release of prisoners is making the community unsafe. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carlo Chiquetto. As CBS 8's David Gofferson explains, the DA says as many as a thousand cases may have to go back to court. It has added quite a burden to our workload. Chief Deputy District Attorney Rachel Soloff is in charge of a team of eight prosecutors who argue in court at resentencing hearings, made possible by a series of new laws in California aimed at reducing prison sentences. In general, the laws allow judges to consider lesser offenses or resentence certain people convicted of murder or manslaughter. Probably all total, we're talking about several hundred, if not a thousand or more cases that we're having to go back into court and we're having to contact the victims. Count three. One of those cases, former La Jolla restaurant owner Daniel Dorado, sentenced to 40 years in prison in 2020 after sexually assaulting four women. In October, an appeals court ruled Dorado has to be resentenced under the new California laws. We're talking about cases where victims uh, suffered lifelong impacts, lifelong losses, and so they're having to relive that experience again when these cases come back into court. In another case, Ramon Del Rio, convicted of a double murder in 1978, had to be released from custody after an appeals court ordered his resentencing and the trial transcripts could not be located. They're just released. There's no time for that reentry planning, for that supervision in the community to make sure that they're doing okay once released. So in many cases, it does make the community less safe. The purpose of resentencing laws was to make the court system more fair, according to veteran defense attorney Jan Ronis. It's very difficult for the public sometimes to comprehend the complexity of these laws. But in general, their intent is to make punishment more closely uh, fit the crime. Ronis points out a sentencing reduction does not necessarily mean a person will be released right away, like in the case of the former La Jolla restaurant owner who was convicted just three years ago. My feeling is and my experience has been in general these laws are good because there has been a thought that there are too many people in California in too many prisons for too long and that something has to be done about it. That former La Jolla restaurant owner Daniel Dorado has a resentencing hearing coming up now on April 25th. At the downtown courthouse, David Goffertson, CBS 8.